Alright everyone, Mark is here and I am right here out of Kupe. So we're going to do some real Jesus. It's the only thing allowed here in the Philippines so far. We're still not allowed to do 515. And my sneaker of choice for today is my Jordan 13 Flint. I just wore this once for going to a mall. So I have yet to try this on court and see how it performs. But I used to have the You Got Game in the black and white colorway. And let's see if this goes to par with that. And right now the condition of court is pretty okay. Um, it rained a bit here. So we hope there's no moisture on the court or the floor. And I'm playing indoor. And of course, I'm wearing my 3 fourth sleeve, the blind save, which has a knee pad. I have to pull this up. And it has a thigh pad and a hip pad. Let's show it to you. There's a hip pad here. There. So this is the pro version of the blind save. And let's try it out. If do its job. Hopefully it'll get hurt. No one needs me. Right. We're just doing a couple of runs. Sweat a bit. We miss basketball. So I'll catch you. Hope like a run. Go. Flint is really soft so 
you don't need to break it in that much. Actually, it's the first game I wore it. It felt like it already broken in because I already used it when I was going around the mall. So, so, much, so far, so good. I can feel the zoom unit in the forefoot. Sorry guys, catching my breath still. Uh, to be honest, I'm not in the best condition or a good condition right now. Uh, I just played last week once. And of course, basketball is a whole different sport compared to cycling, running, etc. Because you have more laterals, so you need to do more core biometrics when you're doing basketball because you have to use your lateral movements and jumping. So I'm catching up with my endurance right now. But so far, the traction on this floor, very clean. So traction is on point. It doesn't squeak that much, it squeaks a bit, but it grips really tight. And I think we still have one more. Don't know if they're doing one more. But so far, we're up to with my team. So far, so good. And I really like this. This is really one of the best retros from Jordan Band. I mean, with the 11s and this one and the 12s, I'll wrap this first, then 11s, then the 12s. So that's how I wrap these three sneakers because it, although I like the cushion on the 12s, but it's heavier compared to the 13s and the 11s in my opinion. The reason why I chose this first because I really like the responsiveness and I like the zoom bounciness in the forefoot with the 13s compared to the full length air of the 11s which is very plush if you want impact protection more but this has more responsiveness compared to the 11s so we'll find out in a bit if we're doing another one okay. colorway upper is very comfortable it has one of the softest upper from a Jordan 13 I think the uh, comparing it to my he got game because the blue part of the he got game is black and it's made out of leather so it made the sneaker a little bit more stiff compared to this but with this one it is really soft so you don't need to break it in that much you can see that and that's why it's so easy to break it in and after the traction no break in time needed or maybe you just walk around the house for a while you can go to the game and you're good to go one of the most reliable herringbone traction out in the market and that's your dust pickup no dust pickup show it to you guys it's very clean although there's a little bit dust but it still grips the floor very well another highlight of the Jordan 13 Flint is of course it is high cut if you want more ankle support 
this is a very nice sticker to have and it is really light compared to the other Jordan 13 because the upper some uppers of the Jordan 13 have very nice leather but it tends to be heavier compared to this kind of leather and I think this is just textile yeah, textile for the flint and it's reflective which is, re which is really nice and as for the suede it's very soft really press it and the spring back of the Jordan 13 very very good but just a little gripe on the Jordan 13 is the laces because it's rounded it tends to loosen up when you're playing I had to tie my left side twice and my right side once and during the game guys so right now you can see it's a little bit loose I haven't loosened that up yet but it's going to get loose already so if you want it to last you longer during the game and not loosen up you can change the laces of the Jordan 13s alright guys so as for sizing of the Jordan 13s it is true to size and white footers half a size up and right now there's good news on this uh, there's some site I think Titan and Nike is having this on the discount already around 20% which is a good buy and you can rock them off for two it's one of the nicest Jordan 13 colorway out in the market in my opinion so that was a good sweat today another thing guys I forgot to mention that with my blind save three fourths uh, it protected me during the game it was really nice and I really like it if you've seen one of my moves going to the hole a while ago I was hit a bit here in my thigh but this pad was protecting me from the knee of my opponent it wasn't intentional but it's an accidental contact but what the blind save g4 compression will do is protect you from bruised ties which really really sucks and hurts for several days so that's i think that's a worth the investment for a g4 tie or just get the the shorts version plus the knee pads if you want to switch it up if you don't want on days you don't want to wear the the shorts with pads you just want to wear the knee pads then you can get that but if you want a one piece just one wear get this one it's fully protected you're fully protected even on the sides on your hips when you bump your opponent doesn't hurt thank you again for watching i hope you like this video i'll catch you in the next one peace